My name is Pamuk Sumasa, I am 20 years old and I'm currently studying sensor technology here in Aston, Netherlands from Heinz Institute of Technology. And guess what? I'm Indonesia. So in last week I come across with a competition called AVR Hero, which is like a competition from Hotmail.com. And since I'm an AVR fanboy, so why not join it? And here I come with Inertial Mobile Phone Unit. So, Inertial Mobile Phone Unit is basically a, a mobile phone, which in fact uh, I use it in my day-to-day -day life. But what's different? Well, the difference is that it, instead of using like capacitive touchscreens or like buttons, it uses inertial measurements to navigate through the menus and do whatever we want in the mobile phone itself. Well, here's another fact. This one is fully hand assembled and open source, started from hardware level up to the software level. But more importantly, it uses only 8 bits AVR microcontroller as the brain of everything. And here are just 20 cool features that you can do with this thing. Well, as you can see from the outside, there is not much stuff really going on here. This is the LCD, capacity touchpad, microphone, speaker, audio jack, and the slot for SD card, and the coolest part here, the Apple Dock connector, coming together. And once you open, well, you can see the battery here, and this is the antenna for the GSM, and ta-da, this is the PCB. Our right, next, next part, let's take apart the front panel and we'll see the front layer of the PCB, the top layer. And ta da! So here's the general block diagram of my device. As you can see, the FVR lies in the middle of everything. It acts as a bridge, it acts as well as a controller, as well as the brain of everything. Which means, without this, there is no way all these peripherals can work. And Having said that, well, I think it's a good enough reason that FVR is the hero of my design. So, how this mobile phone is supposed to compete with all the promotional design mobile phone on the market at the moment? Well, I believe there is no competition at all. Why? Because it is not only a mobile phone, but also an open development platform for people who call themselves a maker, hacker, hobbyist, whatever they want to call. So, basically, it uses a portable Arduino in a shape of mobile phone where people can actually have full access to all the peripherals like LCD, GSM and microSD and other stuff. Apart from that, this device also is very extendable. Why? Because
because it is featured with Redwood on the go, which means you can simply quickly prototype anything and put sketches and run sketches from this phone. And here's the example. Well, in short, this device is an expandable open development platform in a shape of portable mobile phone where you can bring it whatever you want, whenever you need, to do whatever you want. Well, this mobile phone is definitely not better as compared to mobile phone that you can find on the market, not even close. But the fact that this mobile phone is completely do it yourself from the hardware level to the software level is really a game changer. I mean, the proudness and the satisfaction that you get by making this is priceless. And if you are really a maker, anyone, I really want to share the experience with you, so vote for me. And do you know what happened to my old mobile phones once I have this? Exactly. Those are the differences.